All right, this next one comes from uh, Club Z from Roseanne Larson. Hi, hoping there is a solution here. Been looking for a while. In Zoho CRM, I would like that every time a specific field in the account is updated, a specific field in all the related contacts is also updated. That was that was all in upper caps, so that's why I read it that way. Um, I see you can buy an extension and pay monthly, but here in South Africa, that is expensive. Does it have to be custom code? Thanks. With a follow-up comment, I'm also wondering if global sets might solve this. If you uh, apply a global set to one module and the same one to another module, if you update the value chosen on one module, does it update on the other? I currently have another bug with saving my account layout, so I haven't been able to check that until Zoho shows me how to fix that bug. Well, Roseanne, first on the global sets, unfortunately, that doesn't quite work the way that you are hoping it to. Global sets helps keep values consistent so that if, I don't know, let's say I had a, a pick list of account statuses of active and inactive, and I have that as a global set tied to a pick list on all the contacts as well. Where the global set comes in is that if I wanted to change that from saying active and inactive to you know, like live and dead or good and bad. I don't know, then any values in the other modules that are already set to that value would now update to the new overall value. But linking global sets doesn't work on a a record to record basis where if I change something on the account that the contacts would get related as well. So of course, this is going to have to use some custom code, but don't you worry, Roseanne, because we have got ourselves a code share for you. Um, this one I've got set up already at Club Zanata, which also, if you're not already in Club Zanata, you totally should be, because as you can see over here, we've got discussion forums, our code share, as well as things that we're noticing, the Q&As for this very show, as well as requests if you would like to see us make specific video tutorials. This code share is on updating related fields on related CRM records per your question. This specifically is going to be using Coquel, also known as CRM Object Query Language. Uh, it's going to help keep our code nice and clean and efficient. So first, uh, you'll need to create a workflow rule, which will be triggered on on edit of an account. In this case, I have the field called client status. It's, you know, whatever your field is, you want to select the rule should be when should be on edit, not create or edit, just edit so that then you can specify one particular field, whichever one field you're trying to link between accounts and contacts. When it's modified to any value, and then there's a little box you can check to say repeat this whenever that modification happens. If there are additional filters that you want to have, you can put those down here in the conditions. But if you want to just happen to any account that gets changed that way, you can just leave it set to be executed for all accounts. Then you'll want to come down here to instant actions, create a function, then you'll get to your function edit screen and you'll want to input this code. Now the function that we're going to add, it is going to take account ID as the input argument. The other prerequisite for this is that you have a connection made with Zoho OAuth that at a minimum has the scope zohocrm.coquel.read. As you can see, it's not a very long piece of code. What we do is for the coquel, first we build a query map. Basically, we're constructing a, a sentence for the API to interpret and get us the fields that we want filtered according to our specifications. In this one, we're going to select every query. You are selecting what fields you want from what module you want to pull from and then where certain conditions or criteria are met. So in this case, I'm going to select ID account name dot account status from the contact module. So I'm actually pulling from the children's records. I'm not pulling the account record and doing a get related records. Instead, I'm kind of working bottom up. So we pull in the contact ID, then you can use the because account name is the lookup field on the contact to accounts, you do that lookup field API name account underscore name, then a dot and then any field on the account. So in this case, I'm using the example of an account underscore status. Whatever your field is, you can replace it with that. Then you can also notice I have an as here, as account underscore status. That's just when it returns the response. It won't have the account name dot in front of it. Just kind of helps things be a little bit cleaner, and it's going to make inputting this into our update API call much easier. And then the conditions that I have here is that the account underscore name dot ID should equal account ID that I get as the input argument 
for my function. Then we do an invoke URL task. This is available on the Zoho API help documentation. If you just Google Zoho Coquel, it's going to be the first result. You uh, pass in this URL of zoheapaz.com slash CRM slash v4 slash coquel is called a post type because even though I'm getting information, I'm posting a request. Then we take that query map that we built up here, convert it to a string, and then we add in whatever the name of the connection is that we made that has that zoheapaz.coquel.read scope. It's going to come back inside of a element called data, and it's going to be a giant list of records. Although in this case, because we're just looking for contacts from a specific account, you should only get back as many records as contacts there are on the particular account you're looking at. Then I have a little statement here to just make sure that we actually have at least one contact to work with. If Size is not zero, then we're going to update contacts. We have this zoho.crm.bulk update, which is very useful for updating multiple records all at once. All you have to do is just pass in a list of the maps where each map contains the ID number of the already existing record and then just any other parameters that you want to update. So because our Cocal query, I already have the ID from the contact in there and I already renamed the account status field to whatever API name it is in the contact record. So it's possible that account status may have a different name in accounts. It might have a different name in contacts. You just want this one to be whatever the API name is in contact. And then the COCOL data is already pre-formatted for you to use in this bulk update. So all you have to do is just pass in that COCOL data, say that you're updating the contacts module, bada bing, bada boom, you done it. That's it. Now your contacts have all been updated with that account status or whatever account field it is that you are updating. So as I mentioned down here, the nice thing about using this Cocal API is that it allows you to pre-format. You don't need to build a bunch of individual maps or lists. So it's already ready to use in that bulk update task. Now a disclaimer on this one, this particular piece of code assumes that you have less than 100 contacts on any given account because the Zoho CRM bulk update method can only update 100 records at a time. So if you do have more than 100 contacts in account, which is pretty rare, I feel like, I feel like I don't see that too often, then you would need to introduce some kind of pagination into this so that you would go through your list of COCOL data and every 100 records, run the update, and then jump back into your list and continue on. I know that was a big deep dive, but uh, hey, when you're the president of the mathletes at Zanata High, you can't help but just get a little stuck in the weeds. So uh, they are Roseanne, I hope you find that one useful. And it's a request that we get all the time. So hopefully anybody else out there, I'm sure will find something like this useful. Very easy, you just need to replace a couple of module and field names in that COCOL query to match whatever it is that you're trying to update.